Good morning guys, it's Erica and welcome back to my channel. It's currently 9.03 a.m. and I have so much to do today, I decided to take you guys with me. So as you guys can probably guess, I got the job and I'm super excited, super nervous. And there's just so much that comes with having a job, especially a job in healthcare. So um, I have been getting email after email, passwords and user IDs and all types of stuff that I'm gonna to explain to you guys but I'm actually on my way to get my employee health screen at 10 o'clock so I gotta go ahead and get on the road and I'm just gonna take you guys with me and just go to HR with me get my employee health screen of course we're still gonna be in the car but I'm gonna tell you guys all about it and just what comes with having this job and talk about my pay and all those things that you guys wanted to talk about and hear about so yeah let's go ahead and get on the highway Okay guys, so I'm actually finished with my employee health screen. As you can see, I'm bandaged up. I got a tetanus shot. They actually drew, drew, draw, drew. <laughs> they drew blood for my TB test instead of doing like the little, the little bump on your arm where they like come back a day later or two days later to like check to see if it's been irritated. Instead, they just drew blood and did the TB test that way, which I actually prefer that better because I don't have to come back. But it actually went very good. So I'm gonna explain to you guys what happened from start to finish. So first things first, I had so much anxiety going in there because there's a bunch of people standing outside smoking and talking and stuff. And like, I just, I don't like being the center of attention and it just made me very, very nervous because all those guys were out there. So I had to walk past them and that gave me so much anxiety. And then it was one of those places where like when you, as soon as you walk in, everyone's like one, two, three, bam. And like, that's how it was. So I walked in, everyone counted to three. They all looked at me, they followed me all the way up to sign in all the way to sit down it was so uncomfortable honestly guys it was so uncomfortable I just I just don't like that I'm like let me be <laughs> so I just had a lot of anxiety going in there and then my medical assistant was freaking delicious he was adorable he looked like Jackson Avery brown skin blue eyes beautiful and he was amazing <laughs> so that was fun so he did all of my exams I had to get a urine drug test then I had to get my tetanus shot I had to do the blood draw for the TB test and whatever else they're testing for then I had to get fitted for a mask which I have my mask <clears throat> over here so let me take my mask home so they like it was really weird they like um sprayed some stuff or he sprayed some stuff in my mouth it was like a he said it was like flavored water so he sprayed it in my mouth and I could taste it so I knew what that taste was like then he gave me a few minutes for the taste to go away then he put the mask on me and then like this um, plastic bag over my head and like he kept spraying that so he's I guess checking to see if the mask was gonna work so I had to turn my head up and down touch my toes um, I had to deep, take deep breaths in breathe normal and just see if I could taste that taste again and that would let him know if my mouth mask was fitting correctly so then I got to take my mask home which was good and then I had to do an eye test my eyes are absolutely horrible even if I were I wear contacts and my eyesight still sucks so we did an eye test um, then I had to um, do go with the doctor and then the doctor did like touch your toes look from both sides press and pull push and pull and stuff to see how strong I was and asked me some questions about my history as far as like my asthma and things like that which everything is pretty much controlled and asked me about like my anxiety and like depression whatever my med medications and stuff like that so we talked about those things and I was cleared and then I left so it actually turned out to be really good um, despite all the anxiety of going in there with all those people staring at me like a piece of meat like and no it's like I don't know I don't want to be like I don't want to be that person who's like unappreciative of attention you know what I mean but I'm like I have really bad anxiety and the fact that you're staring at me like that is gonna make me nitpick myself all day like I'm gonna be like I should have said this I should have said that I should have looked this way I should have done that why didn't I do this and I'll be absolutely crazy by like 6 p.m. I'll be nuts so <laughs> I just don't like that whole you walk into a room and everyone's like BAM and like stares at you all the way up and all the way to sit down everything you do they're watching like it was very uncomfortable but Jackson Avery made it so much better <laughs> he was adorable people so he's 31, he's from Chicago, he's a medical assistant, and he was just so cute, and it was so much fun working with him. So that was cool. So now I'm here at the hospital that I'm gonna be working at, and now it's time for me to go deal with HR. So that, I gave them my shot records, they did all that stuff, and now I have to go show them proof of my diplomas, my degrees, my CPR, my x-ray, my ultrasound, every single um, paper that I have that proves that I have um, 
the registry pass and all those things I have to show them that and then I also have to give them my um, driver's stuff like my decals for this car and then for the van just in case I end up driving the van I need to have decals for both vehicles so I have to I filled out the driver's log thing at the house and I got to bring that to them and then I have a lot of employee paperwork that I have to fill out. I'm not quite sure what all it is, and I'll tell you guys when I come back. But I didn't have a set time to go in here and do this. They just told me to come in when I'm done with my employee health screen. But I don't know, something about just employee health screen. I've always, like, when I first found out I had really bad anxiety or that they put me on medication and stuff, I was, like, terrified to go to the doctor. Like, I felt so nervous. Like, my doctor had put, like, um, your little pulse ox thing that goes in your finger, and he put that on my finger to, like, just get my blood I guess my um, heart rate through my fingertip and the more he start talking to me my heart rate starts speeding up and he was like what is wrong with you and like I was just so nervous about being at the doctor's office because I feel I felt like they're gonna find something you know like you're just so scared and nervous to where you're like oh my god if they draw blood I'm gonna have leukemia I'll be in chemo by next week like you know, I was flipping freaking out like it was absolutely crazy so going there to get my blood drawn was still nerve-wracking for me but just not as bad I was able to like give myself rational thoughts like okay Erica you had a child they tested your blood for everything in the book and you didn't have anything so what makes you think that you're just going to have something now you know what I mean like it doesn't make any sense and I try to like rationalize with myself like what are the odds of you just I don't I, you can't get leukemia out of nowhere but like what are the odds of you just strikingly getting some leukemia you don't feel sick nothing's wrong with you shut up so I have to like talk to myself and calm myself down when I go to the doctor but it was so much of a better experience now that a lot of things have been taken care of as far as my anxiety so I appreciate having an experience that wasn't so frightening <laughs> as my normal ones comment down below if you guys struggle with like anxiety or depression or any type of issues like that I know I don't talk much about it on my channel but it's definitely a real thing and I have a lot of irrational thoughts and fears and things in my head that don't even make any sense like what if I fall off the bed and break my neck like what if Kaden like falls off the couch wrong and he's like paralyzed for the rest of you know like I really think crazy thoughts most of the time and it's very hard for me to calm myself down and I overthink things and I will say like I go through somewhere and I say something to somebody at like McDonald's or something for the rest of the day I was replaying that conversation in my mind what should I have said better what did I say how did I say it why did I say that blah, blah 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 and I'm like I'm going through the conversation over and over again in my mind and it's not even that serious you know what I mean so yeah comment down below if you struggle with anxiety or depression or any type of mental issues or things like that because I think it's something that we should talk about so definitely talk about that down below but right now it is 11:34, and I'm actually about to go into HR and handle my HR biz and then I'll come back out here and let you guys know how HR went and what's the process for HR okay so I am done with HR I got there to like 11 30 something and then when I went to HR they were closed until one o'clock so I went upstairs I hung out with the ultrasound tech we discussed my schedule and stuff I hung out with my friend over at x-ray and just kind of talked to everybody and then I went back down around 1 16 after her lunch break and then that's when I actually got to go to HR I am dying you guys this Georgia heat is just not playing and it's hot out here it is beyond hot so HR really wasn't a big deal as I thought it was going to be. Uh, not a lot of paperwork. I had to sign my job description and it's right in front of me. Like basically, it's this little piece of paper that says like sets and operates equipment, transfer and properly position patients, attends in-service presentations, blah, 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 blah. It's just a bunch of different like what my duties are as an ultrasound tech and then I had to sign that and then I had to give them my um, car details so that they could have my decals ready for me during orientation and then I had to get my orientation packet which is also in front of me and it just tells you um, what to bring with you bring a pin um, business casual or wear scrubs I'll get my badge orientation day breakfast and lunch will be provided it's actually an all-day thing I didn't know it was that it's gonna be from 8 to 4 30 and then I actually have to come again, I think on Tuesday, and do another schedule from 8 to 4.30 for orientation. I said I won't really know what my um, schedule per se is gonna be until the first day of orientation when they pass out the schedules because the nurses have to come, I think, all week for um, the schedule or the orientation, but I only have to come like a day or two. So I'm not quite sure how long I'm gonna be there until I actually come on that day. But yeah, so very exciting, um, very, um, overwhelming 
there's a lot of stuff going on like I said I wanted to catch you guys up on kind of like once I got the job and like my pay and all those types of things um, during orientation they're gonna discuss the benefits packages and the different things that weren't really into detail I also did something called pre-boarding and onboarding which I'm also gonna discuss with you guys um, right now it is 1 40 so this whole process took me from 10 o'clock this morning or about 9 30 this morning to 1 40 to get all of these things done but I've actually been very prepared they didn't even want any of my credentials or licensing they just asked me if I was licensed and I said yes and I gave my credentials and licenses to my supervisor so that was good I'm glad I made a copy and gave it to her because I, I was swore that they were gonna do that they also took my badge picture today so that's why I put on a little bit of makeup and dressed up but they took the badge picture with an iPhone which okay this is the same thing they did for ultrasound school I have an iPhone 7 plus I don't know what um, which model it is but it's definitely a plus it's the big iPhone and that's what they took my picture with to make my badge for ultrasound school and that's what they did here for HR which I just think it's weird because like, when you go to school they use like a professional like a Canon camera or whatever and like they make your badges right there in your face I won't even get my badge until I start so it's just different and that's kind of how it was for um, ultrasound school too I guess they send the pictures off somewhere then they send you the badges I just think it's just different for the whole iPhone thing but iPhone cameras are pretty nice so I don't know it was just different so I got my picture taken today and I'll receive my badge the day of orientation so um, right now I'm probably gonna go back home maybe or might stop by I think I'm gonna stop by Starbucks today is a double star day and you know I love my double stars so I think I'm gonna go by Starbucks and then I will drink my drink and just talk to you guys a little bit more about what's been going on with me and just the changes and everything because I consider this job a definite like life change for me like it's my very first job period and then it's my very first like legit real job <laughs> you know what I mean very first job very first job in healthcare that's getting benefits and has all these requirements and things and it's definitely a big step in my life so there's a lot of things that I've been changing lately one of these things is I've been vegan for the past week and a half I don't know how long I'm gonna be vegan I don't want to just claim that I'm vegan but so far I've, I've been and I feel so much better so much healthier um, I have lost weight maybe about five or six pounds I don't, I'm not weighing myself but I have a Fitbit scale so my Fitbit app told me that I lost more but didn't tell me how much and I don't want to know how much I'm trying to focus more on the health aspects of it the fact that I feel better and I'm more alert I've also been changing my room my room is a construction zone right now I'm switching around Caden's bed to become a toddler bed and I want to change I want to create a YouTube space for myself and a toy space for him and just change everything in that room like this is a new start for all of us and I just want everything to be fresh and new so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I have so much more to tell you guys, especially about medical school and everything that I found out, all the classes that I'm starting to take. I'm gonna be going to pretty much three different schools. I have a lot planned out to get on that map, on that road to med school, you guys. So I have so much to tell you guys. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and stay tuned and I'll see you guys very soon.